What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I really want to kind of step aside and ask you guys how you've been feeling about Dr. Wendy Osefo from The Real Housewives of Potomac so far this season. We're only three episodes in and to me she has been exhibiting some very alarming behavior that has me genuinely worried for her. Both in terms of her general life and how things are going over there and in terms of whether or not she can bounce back in the court of public opinion because right now the public opinion of her is generally piss poor. If you search Wendy and hashtag R-H-O-P, the majority of things you're going to find are tweets, you know, and memes kind of like poking fun at her for just being so obnoxious this season. Um, people questioning why she is just so on the attack with her newbie co-star Mia Thornton and people wondering why she is rehearsing these reads and just cringing at how bad the delivery has been thus far, especially that TikTok, I have time, I am Zen when mess that she threw around um, in this week's episode. So from the very top, I think that she's going through some serious issues with the way that she's been acting, especially knowing that the Eddie rumors are about to come out. So if you've been watching my live streams, every week I've been live streaming with Kempire and Layla Lynn, and we've been going across each other's channels. And you know, I always felt as though the Eddie rumors were fake and that it was just miserable Giselle being messy, trying to mess with marriages as usual. But now that I sit down and think about the way that Wendy has been acting, Acting so far this season, I'm starting to believe it. I'm starting to think that she knew that something was up at home and that is the reason why she's behaving so erratically. You know, the stereotype about women when we're going through like, especially like love woes is that we will shave our hair. We will do like a drastic career change, like something really drastic. And when you sit back and look at what Mia has been doing, um, it is kind of, you know, very symbolic of the drastic changes that people make when they're going through distress, love distress, you name it. In her first season of the show, she was always bragging about her four degrees, her PhD, her work as a professor, a political commentator, trying to be an example to young girls, young black girls particularly. But now this season, in the span of one year, or less than a year, they film less than a year apart, she's already left those jobs, right? She no longer wants to be a professor. She no longer wants to be a, com a political commentator. And instead, she wants to sell candles, which is still a respectable thing, right? Owning a business. But the thing is, that she's not prepared to sell candles. She's already put $20,000 into this business without having a plan, a point of differentiation, or any sort of direction, which is quite odd, right? For someone of her caliber of intelligence. And then not only that, but she's completely overhauled her body. She got a BBL, which is um, Brazilian butt lift. So she got a liposuction on her stomach, put the fat into her booty. She got a uh, breast augmentation as well. And then, you know, she also overhauled her face. She won't say what she did on her face, but I think it's quite obvious she's got some Botox and some filler work down there. Some people suggest that she might have gotten a rhino classy, but just, I don't personally believe that she did. So she's just doing so much in such a short span of time. That is just a complete 180 of who she was that I really do think that she is going through some serious mess and that, you know, now there might be a little bit of credence to these Eddie rumors. And not only that, but her erratic behavior against Mia Thornton, who was a newbie. Remember in um, episode one of the show, Wendy was throwing a party to sell celebrate her new boob job. And she didn't even want to admit to everything she else she had done. The liposuction and the booty fat transfer until um, her co-star Mia admitted to everything. But before we even get there, Mia asked her very politely because we were at a plastic surgery party. So Mia probably thought that Wendy was willing to be open at some point, right? What else she had done. And Wendy very rudely shoots back with, no, well, you know, let's talk about what you have done because you look like you've had a lot, which is incredibly rude and degrading, right? So a lot of people again are online roasting her about her Zen when um, you know reads her TikTok. I have time today um, and I you know listening back I rewatched the feud part of the episode she goes she doesn't even go here which was so rude trying to ostracize someone for literally no reason in a show that you are still technically a newbie to you know Wendy this is only your second season so let's calm it down being territorial about the show. Mia around that point suggests that Wendy might be unhappy happy at home based on her erratic and I don't want to say aggressive because she takes issue with that but like I you know attacking, I guess, behavior. And Wendy goes, well, no, I think you're unhappy at home. And that's the reason you had to get your 
clip fixed, which again was just so bizarre coming from somebody who can barely sit down right now because she is recovering from a BBL, right? And a liposuction and her breast augmentation. Her boobs are still hard as rocks right now and her face is still barely moving because she's recovering from a full body overhaul from head to toe. Like literally, how does someone who is recovering from a complete overhaul, you know, fix their face to shame the next woman for plastic surgery. And not only that, but equate plastic surgery with misery. You know, Wendy, if Mia is miserable at home because she got her, you know, lady parts fixed, what are you then for getting a head to toe overhaul? I personally don't equate plastic surgery with unhappiness, you know? So it's quite telling to me that this is something that Wendy has said. In my opinion, she kind of low key told on herself in that instance. I don't know what's going on with her, you guys. I didn't like Wendy her first season either. I felt like she did always go out of her way to kind of create feuds, especially with Ashley and that whole I'm a new mom when she was having her third baby situation and just being purposely obtuse. Uh, people like you call me Dr. Wendy, so address me correctly or whatever. Like, you know, I, I think that this is just her personality. I think she's not socialized very well. And so she has an issue with socialization, but just when you combine everything, the way that she's just relentlessly going after Mia, um, you know, with the, face and the body overhaul and the career overhaul with no real sense of direction and just her general weirdness this season. I do think that she is going through something and it might be the Eddie cheating rumors being true or false. I don't know. Or it might be something else. I don't know. But you know, Wendy, I really am hoping that you get it together throughout the rest of the season because mm, this is just not looking good for you so far, girl. And we're only on episode three. Guys, what have you thought about Wendy so far this season? Is she setting off alarm bells in your head as well? Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.